What's up, everybody? What you're looking at is Oriental or Asiatic bittersweet, distinct from American bittersweet. This one is Celastris orbiculatus, I believe. Uh, please correct me on my pronunciations if I am incorrect, because my spelling my spelling's good. My pronunciations are atrocious. They make native Latin speakers cry. This guy is an absolute unit at murdering trees I love, and to be honest, trees I don't care too, too much about as well. Um, super vining, super aggressive, root spreader. Um, this is just one set of roots. So, pulling some invasive species out of some of the areas of gardens. Um, our next species, violator of my gardens, is Euonymus alatus. Again, pronunciation is terrible. This guy is listed as invasive in the state of Maine, not so in Massachusetts or New Hampshire, for some god-awful reason. Some people actually like this plant, and I can't stand it. It is aggressive. It is stoloniferous. It spreads and blankets out, and every time you cut it, it sends up a knuckle of new shoots that just poof, and try to smother out everything underneath it. They get really dense. They are beautiful landscaping plants, but I hate them because of how they spread. Speaking of plants, and I hate how they spread. Quick reminder, a weed is just a plant growing where you don't want it. So in that sense, this is my native weed. This is the root system from a staghorn sumac. And you can see this guy is also a stoloniferous spreader. And this one in particular came from back there behind the uh, chicken yard by where those apples are growing. But if I pan this way and just get down a little bit, all those little sticks in the ground are all staghorn sumac trying to absolutely remove my lawn. And while I appreciate their goal and the function that they play in expanding forest uh, border lines and edge space, I do not appreciate how many times I have to pull them up when I'm trying to plant things that I actually want there. So you can see where some of the tree has just embedded itself. This guy fell the other day while the dog and I were out for a walk uh, trying to find out why the power went out. And this guy luckily missed us. So it is driven completely into the ground. I'm still working to remove some of the brush. Um, but yeah, free lawn aeration courtesy of falling trees. But to the main point of why I decided to post this up for you guys today. You can see we've hayed in the majority of the beds. These will still get another top dressing of some old horse bedding, uh, some aged chicken compost, and a little bit in the way of the duck manure. We, uh, we almost finished hanging in this section of bed. The whole rest of it is ready to rock and roll cover that with some manure, some wood chips when they start rolling in. But our potato beds are ready to go. Everything is healed in. Everything looks great. If I scrunch down, you can see just how high these guys get. We have a couple of nice paths through the middle, a nice easy working space from the middle so that every bed is accessible. If I pull this to the side real quick, You can see we've got hay, followed by compost, followed by tons and tons and tons more hay. We'll end up bringing some soil from the pile down there, as well as some more compost from the chicken and duck yards. Uh, to keep mounding these up, the potatoes really like the hilling, 
So we're going to do our best to uh, make sure that they've got everything they need to be super, super happy. You can see where the majority of this tree went to. We'll be bringing some more soil over. There's a little bit in the middle of that guy. The big goal was really just clearing this space. You can see the devastation around some of my plants. And the true hero of the other day. I know it looks silly. This uh, this ring right here came clean off of everything. But this little guy saved one of my ass caps. And I am super grateful for its sacrifice. I hope that wherever you folks are, I hope your plants are surviving. I hope they're thriving. I hope no giant trees fall down on them. And I hope your gardens are coming along nicely for the uh, onslaught of spring. That's it for us right in a day. Hope you're well. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you guys soon with another fun update. I'll let you watch some chickens playing around in the compost. <laughs>